I am Professor Peter John Wormald. I am Chairman of the Department of Otolaryngology and Head and Neck Surgery at the University of Adelaide. And I also hold an appointment with the Neurosurgical Department of the University of Adelaide as a Professor of Skull-Based Surgery. The quality of life of a patient who's got bad sinusitis is worse than a patient with rheumatoid arthritis. It's worse than a patient with congestive cardiac failure. We estimate uh, in Australia that common sinusitis has a, uh, a rate of about 12% in the, in the general population, so it's really huge. So our interest has been in rhinology, and we have a significant interest in the pathogenesis of rhinology. We're getting increasingly more resistant bacteria and fewer antibiotics in development. And this is a train smash because eventually we're going to have a situation where we don't have antibiotics to treat infections because all of the infections are resistant to the antibiotics we currently have. One way in which the bacteria become resistant is by producing biofilms. So biofilms don't live individually, but they live as a community. About 1,000-fold more resistant to antibiotics than bacteria that live in planktonic form, so individually. And we have identified uh, certain treatments that can affect these biofilms and, and make them much more sensitive to antibiotics or to different treatments that we give to these biofilms. We've set up the first international study to examine the microbiome within the sinuses. We then wish to use that information to then modulate the bacteria within the nose of someone with chronic rhinosinusitis and hopefully lessen the disease burden. We've done a number of double blind randomised studies where we've shown that topical therapy, we were able to cure 80 to 90% of our patients with a topical therapy whereas with the antibiotic which is specific for the infection that that patient has in the sinuses, cured less than 10%.